The U.S. economy is in a good place, and we will continue to use our monetary policy tools to help keep it there. The jobs picture continues to be strong, with the unemployment rate near historic lows, and with stronger wage gains. Inflation remains near our 2% goal. We continue to expect that the American economy will grow at a solid pace in 2019, although likely slower than the very strong pace of 2018. We believe that our current policy stance is appropriate at this time. Growth has slowed in some major foreign economies, particularly China and Europe. There is elevated uncertainty around several unresolved government policy issues, including Brexit, ongoing trade negotiations, and the effects from the partial government shutdown in the United States. Financial conditions tightened considerably late in 2018 and remain less supportive of growth than they were earlier in 2018. And while most of the incoming domestic economic data have been solid, some surveys of business and consumer sentiment have moved lower, giving reason for caution. Today, the FOMC decided that the cumulative effects of those developments over the last several months warrant a patient wait-and-see approach regarding future policy changes. In particular, our statement today says, in light of global economic and financial developments and muted inflation pressures, the committee will be patient as it determines what future adjustment, adjustments to the target range for the federal funds rate may be appropriate. In this environment, we believe we can best support the economy by being patient in evaluating the outlook before making any future adjustment to policy. In addition, the case for raising rates has weakened somewhat. The traditional case for rate increases is to protect the economy from risks that arise when rates are too low for too long, particularly, particularly the risk of too high inflation. Over the past few months, that risk appears to have diminished. Inflation readings have been muted, and the recent drop in oil prices is likely to push headline inflation lower still in coming months.